Wait, 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 wait. Is that Lex? Is that Astrosthetics? Let's get it, baby. Megan the Stallion dropped a new song called Hissa. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Megan, you dropped a song called Cobra. Then you dropped a song called Hiss. Are you going to name your next song Strike? Like, we see Meg playing with that, that spirit animal of like the serpent, the snake. And I think that's cool. Because Meg was hissing at Nicki Minaj all throughout this song. And listen, when the barbs strike back, Meg, this is what you baited them for. Meg says, ever since I claimed the summer, all you bitches want a season. Ask a whole why she don't like me, but she can't give you a reason. Y'all know that Nicki and Meg did the Hot Girl Summer track together. Now, before we get into this, we got to point out that she dissed the sh out of Tory Lanez I know when Tory Lanez had this breakdown and how Meg was talking about him he gonna be he gonna be pressing that iPhone mad hard in there like listen when Tory get out Meg I, we can't say nothing to him when he get on your ass Meg said you you is typing for nothing on the internet typing this shit to me write him a letter or something come on yo Meg that that's Meg is really stepping out of lines with this. Y'all, let's get into this song from the top. Meg starts the song off by saying, I just want to kick this off by saying F y'all. I ain't gotta clear my name on a mother effing thing. Every time I get mentioned, one of y'all B's get attention for 20. Look, Meg is coming at the blogs. Meg hates the blogs. We told y'all in our last video. Anytime you try to start playing around with the narrative, Meg is going to hiss and get on your ass. All right? So look, Meg opens up the song saying that she feels like Mariah Carey because everybody's so obsessed. Then she says that her pussy's so famous, she might get managed by Kris Jenner next. That's an interesting line because y'all know that the night before that situation, the night when that situation happened, Meg was in a pool with Kylie, Tori, and Kelsey. But we know that Tori was really trying to smash Kylie because Tori and Travis Scott don't bang with each other. And we also know that Meg had her bars where she was subbing Travis Scott a little bit to get back at Tori. Meg continues to say he can't move on, can't let go. He hooked, nose full of that Tina Snow. That's for party right there. And I don't know if she was also saying that party be sniffing like But, you know, allegedly, we don't want to put that out there, all right? Because party is a great writer and a great artist. I don't think he needs to do yayo to write his bars. Then she's saying all of them B words is weak on arrival. Talking ish. And you got me wondering. Y'all know Ice Spice just dropped that fart song. And I'm wondering if that's a little shot at Ice Spice saying... That Ice Spice is weak on arrival. Who knows? Then she says, now this is the line that that first had me like, what is she talking about? She says, I can never be judged by a bee that was dancing, making R. Kelly go viral. Who was she talking about when she said dancing, making R. Kelly go viral? I don't know if she was referring to that R. Kelly and Gail King interview, but I know Meg is not crazy enough to diss Gail King. I don't know which celebrity was dancing to R. Kelly. Like, I, I really, really can't think of which celebrity did that. So that's one line where she had me like, hmm, who was she talking about? Then we know Meg. Meg got to glamorize the hot girl body and the, the planet fitness physique. So then she says, hey, I'm sexy as fuck and I'm freaky. Get whoever I want. Eeny meeny. Then she says, why the yo Meg be on her mean girl kind of she be playing with that we see that Meg likes playing with that mean girl and the, those serpent kind of energies right there then she says why the f would I stay with an n-word that's weak in the sheets and don't know how to please her that reminds me of that IG live that she did y'all remember when she kept doing that thing with her finger insinuating that partisan was a sissy so I think she cleared all of that up in this record. Then she says bodies on bodies on bodies. 
say you F and Megan and now he a topic. That's for Blueface. Y'all know that Blueface came out and said that Meg gave him the slurper derp and that Blueface went trending. But I also think that that line is generalized for anybody that attached themselves to Megan and her narrative. Because y'all know that Meg does not play about her story. Then she says, all this free promo, I'm turning a profit. Hate when the N-word be kissing and telling. See, that that's another. That's what Blueface did. And then I don't know if that's her admitting to it, that, to the Slurper Derp 3000. But then she says, say he a player, but he in his feelings. I, I don't know if that's another shot at Blueface. Then she says, bet I won't give up the, the P again. Shit, share that bitch to his friends. They go Meg with the thotty hot girl talk. But Meg, if you want your hot girl hailing, I don't know if you would want to do that, Meg. But then Meg says, these hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. And um, ain't there like one of those amateur internet court um court court reporters that got the same name as Megan? And there's also an actual law called Megan's Law that makes information available. I think about um public sex offenders or something along those lines. So that that was an interesting line right there, right? I, we see Meg stepping up her bars, and that that's fire. All right, that's a dope line because. There's a lot of ways to interpret that. Then she says, I don't know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all want me to start. Bitch, you a bitch. You never finna check me. Every chance you get, bet y'all weak ass wanna address me. That Y'all know that's a Nikki bar. I really feel like that's a Nikki bar. Nikki been trying to edge it on for a few years now since Nikki realized that Meg is a hardcore socialite. And yeah, like now Nikki... Meg is giving you what you and the barb has been asking for. And Meg, when they get on your ass, y'all know that Meg is going to wait for the album. Meg is going to wait for the album. When the F did all the gangster niggas turn to groupies? Everybody want to kick it when you ain't a threat. Don't like me because they know I'm on their neck. So that's Meg once again pretty much coming at everybody in the industry that tried to attach themselves to what she was doing. Saying... How y'all saying that y'all gangsters, but y'all be on some group when I'm coming around. Megan is saying that the image that they're portraying on the internet, that's not what it is when she's in their vicinity. Then she does this interlude. She says, y'all goofy hoes look dumb every time. And they celebrate fake news using her name for likes and views. And she don't give a F what trend she's still going to win. Megan hates blogs guys all right then meg says ain't you here i ain't scared to dig any man go against me i handle i'm the teflon don in the court okay here we go with megan her new genre rap this is officially called courtroom bars meg said i'm the teflon don in the courtroom they be throwing that dirt that ish don't stick all these little rap is so frauds and they spit the hardest bars and look, Meg probably knows, right? Meg be in their vicinity. Meg is an artist in the industry. Exactly. Meg is telling us, look, that's one thing I could appreciate. And that's something that, that could be beneficial about this, right? Meg is telling us what we all knew. A lot of these little rap is is frauds, right? Not all of them, because we know that there's some rappers out there that live their raps. But for the most part, that's Meg confirming that a lot of this stuff is just for show. Meg then says, these N-words hate on BBLs be walking around with the same scars, real curvy, no edges, is fight to get in her section. Don't speak on her body count if the ain't worth coming back for seconds. Cosplay gangsters, fake ass accents, posted in another N-word hood like a bad-ish, she's a big dog, can't little sis her, another Nikki bar. Hoes get views when they trying to diss her. Make one move. Got them in a tizzy. Killing ish. That's why they trying to rip me. Still going hard with the odds against her. And look, y'all. This right here. This is men talking about all of the haters. That's another Nikki bar. When she's saying she's a big dog. Can't little sis her. When I think of the only artist that's been actually really sunning Meg. No, Meg. Nikki has been little sissing you. And that would be Nikki. Then Meg says, and they still tuned in if fans or not. 
allegations from the opposition. So that's a that's a bar right there. Even if you don't like Meg, Meg still got people talking, even if they don't rock with her or not. And that's why Meg has to make sure that this next album is a classic album. Because everybody that don't rock with Meg, and I know what it is. After Meg did that 15 or one deal, she had to still put out music, but she couldn't make all of the music that she wanted to. She, she was saving her real fire music for when she got out of the contract. So Meg, that 15 on one deal got cleared. And I told, I'm telling y'all, I'm expecting this next album to be a classic album. All right. So Meg, Nikki has definitely been sunning you. But one advantage that you got is that even if we not fans or not, people still going to watch Meg and listen to her music. All right. Even if you're not a hottie, you still going to bump Meg. Then Meg says, just eating it up. These blogs get paid to lie. Talk ish, be broke. Bottom line is she's still rich, making bad, and she's good. Then she says, bringing up who she might. And the bottom line is they still would. That's a bar. And then Meg is, all right, so this is just Meg pretty much talking her ish. And then Meg got another Nikki diss. She says, always got her butt out, always let her boobs show. When she's in the gym, she think about chicks she's you know. That's another Nikki bar to me. And then we, we got that bar where she says, ever since she claimed the summer, the hoes won a season. Like, this song is really filled with, with a bunch of Nikki bars. And I didn't really get a lot of Kelsey bars in this. I don't know if one of the lines in the beginning was a shot at Kelsey, but I feel like Meg explained everything she wanted to say about Kelsey and Cobra. So with this, she's on Nikki's ass. And if I know Meg is not a dumbass, so I know she has to have a song with straight bars for Nikki on her album. If Meg does not have uh, 100 bars for Nikki or a good 113 bars for Nikki, then Meg, you're f up. Steady. But then Meg ends the song with say. Don't type me nothing else. Don't write me nothing else. Now, I don't know if she was insinuating that Tori is trying to write her. That would be crazy, right? Through all of this, imagine if Tori is trying to write her. And imagine. But then she says something about JPay. And I thought that was just. She says, download JPay since y'all has got so much to say. Or schedule a conjugal visit. Like, we. Like, that line right there is just... That's how she ended the song, man. She was like, look, I want that to sit on y'all. Like, schedule that conjugal visit. Man, look, Tori... I know Tori, like, dead ass, But I don't know if she was saying that Tori still be trying to contact her. And with the way Meg is dealing with it, Meg is rubbing that in right now. So, you know, Meg don't care... Right, she's giving the block something to talk about, and she's saying, "Look, I'm still lit." So Meg is aware of of what cards are in her favor. All right, this song is all right. I'm gonna give it a nice seven point five out of ten, and depending on on what else what else comes out of it, we might do a second video. But this is a this is a solid record, and it's a great record to put out on the album get the barbs she has some bars for the barbs and meg i right, cool but when nikki get on your ass we gonna do another video and that's what nikki been waiting for all right and make sure y'all check out the last video we did does nikki minaj have any competition and i know y'all peeped that ice spice dropped this song today and i'm wondering if ice spice got some bars for you meg all right Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, and I hope y'all enjoyed this. And thank y'all so much for coming and checking out this content. It means a lot, and I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, and I appreciate y'all, all right? Have a great one. Yep.